Haiti's interim prime minister has agreed to step down, ending a leadership battle that's ensued since the assassination of President Jovenel Moise. Claude Joseph told the Washington Post newspaper that he and Ariel Henry had met privately to resolve the dispute. Well, let's talk to Andy Gallagher in Miami. So who's running the country at the moment? Well, obviously, since the assassination of Jovenel Moïse on July the 7th, there has been this battle between these two uh, prime ministers, but it now seems to have been settled and Ariel Henry will now take over. Uh, Claude Joseph had assumed that role, which caused a lot of confusion in the country that really needs stability at the moment. But I think the deciding factor in all this is that a core group of international countries backed Ariel Henry. Uh, now, that may bring some solace to the people of Haiti, who are in a very precarious situation since the assassination of Javnel Moïse, but we're still waiting for free and fair elections to happen, because remember, Moïse had stayed in office a year after he should have, because they couldn't get elections up and running. That's really what needs to happen. The date for that is late in the fall, perhaps September. But again, all the elections I've seen there over the past few years have been very problematic. But at least this is uh, potentially for those in Haiti worried about their own security, a step in the right direction. And is there any more information coming about about what actually happened on the day of the killing? Yeah, we, we have had some reports that uh, in the early hours of Wednesday morning on July the 7th, Jovenel Moïse was desperately making phone calls to various different police officials asking for help. Uh, we're also getting uh, some reporting that anyone that was making their way towards Jovenel Moïse's house on the outskirts of Port-au-Prince would have had to go through a few layers of security to actually make it to his house. So that once again raises the question of who was involved, who is the mastermind behind this attack. And we still don't know that answer. Uh, but we do know that none of his security officials were harmed in that assassination attempt, which really begs the question, who knew about this, who knew what was going to happen, and why were they involved? At the moment, there are a couple of key figures, but that seems to change on a daily basis. So that investigation to find out who was behind uh, the assassination of Javnel Moïse is still ongoing. It's cast a very wide net at the moment. There are something like 18 uh, former military people from Colombia involved. Uh, but who is behind the attack and why they carried it out still seems to be unknown. Andy, thanks very much. Andy Gallagher in Miami.